Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Board of County Commissioners now in session. We'll begin with a prayer followed by the pledge. Mr. Jones, if you lead us in prayer, please. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for this day. Thank you for this time you've given us together. We come to you today believing you to impart on us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as it concerns us and the rest of the citizens of Franklin County today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> we'll begin by approval of the minute. So moved. Second. I have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Massey, second by Commissioner Sanders. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All opposed? A motion carries. Next will be payment of county bills. So, so moved. moved. We have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Lockley, second by Commissioner Massey. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? A motion carries also. Next will be the Department Director's Report, Howard Neighbors Superintendent of Public Works. Good morning, Commissioners. How y'all doing? Good morning. Just got a couple items on the same stuff. We still continue on cutting the grass and uh, maintaining the Lime Rock Roads, which are from all the rain that we had a couple weeks ago. So, and that grass, I mean, you cut that grass, and two weeks later, it's going to be back knee high, and it's going to be that way probably for the next three months. So, I'm catching it just like you are. Yeah, yeah. Good to grow. <laughs> and the mosquitoes, we have mosquitoes, bad mosquitoes and all, but they with them, they're going as hard as they can go. So they've been larvicide and spraying. So. Yeah. With as much water as what we've gotten, we need to larvicide big time. Yes, ma'am. They've been larvicide yeah. and spraying. So thank you. Well, you do board members have anything for Mr. Howard? No. Yeah. He's doing a good job, Howard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Mm -hmm. Next will be Mr. Von Davis, Solid Waste Director. Commissioner, his father called me right before the meeting started. Someone <laughs> in his family took sick and he had to uh, take him to the hospital. So I'm going to present his report. There's only one action item on his report. Uh, due to the recent retirement of Letha Brandon, the Solid Waste Recycling Department has a vacant position that needs to be filled. And he's requesting board approval to advertise to fill the position first in house. And if that is unsuccessful, then through local advertising through the media. So moved. Second. We have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Massey, second by Commissioner Sanders. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All opposed? That motion carries. Before I sit, I know the, the board wants to wish uh, congratulations to our AA, but I'll, I'll open that door and let you guys move forward with that discussion. Uh, Commissioner Lockett. <coughs> The team won. They took me to team one yesterday, the championship. And I'm proud of them young fellas, girls, boys. Proud of all of them. Yeah, they won the state champion yesterday. Yeah. <coughs> Double A's. Double A's. And they only, I think they only had one defeat the whole week. That was two St. Joe, but we wound up beating them the last time, which was the third time we beat them to win the title. So. Uh, Not bad to go even one. Mm -mm. And how about Ozone? Do you, did you they're, play, they're playing this coming week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the girls <coughs> play after that. Mm -hmm. That's nice. All right. But congratulations Please. to the double-A team. We're proud yeah, of them. The triple-A and Ozone playing on Saturday. What's he saying? Triple-A and Ozone playing on Saturday. Both <coughs> <Both, both> divisions. <coughs> well, Mr. Chairman, I'll, uh, I'll, if you will, I would like for you to bring them in whenever they get back. And we could congratulate them in person. If you would, might get that message to Farmer. Well, yeah. all right. Go up Anybody want to send any other thing to Farmer? To County staff, Franklin County. <laughs> we'll move on to Miss Pam Burnell, <coughs> Emergency Management Director. Good morning, Commissioners. Um, I have three action items this morning. Uh, request the board's approval and signing of the 2017-2018 EMPA base grant in the amount of $105,806. Uh, request the board's approval and signing of the 2017-2018 EMPG, which is the federal grant, in the amount of $53,525. 
third item is request the board's approval and signing of the state mutual aid agreement. We haven't signed a new agreement since um, 2002, so we need to update our mutual aid agreement. So moved. So, second. We have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Lock and <coughs> second by Commissioner Massey. Any further discussion? You said if I wouldn't pay him. No, sir. But again, <laughs> I voiced my opinions on several occasions and. I guess I was saying it is what it is. Yeah, that's all you can do. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? A motion carried. Uh, board recess real quickly. Let me sign all these paperwork for Pam. Come show me what I need to sign in. Board of County Commission is now back in session. Next on our agenda would be uh, Mr. Eric Lowstrand, Office Extension Office Director. Good morning, Commissioners. Morning. Um, just a couple of update items. We had 32 youth from Franklin County go to our Summer 4-H camp over near Niceville at Camp Tempucci. So that was the biggest showing we've had in many, many years, I'm sure. And no incidents. They had a great week and got to do a lot of really fun activities while they were there. We also did conduct the release of the parasitoid wasp here in the county to try to combat the Asian citrus psyllid and spread of the citrus greening disease. Um, we had um, a staff member from uh, Division of Plant Industry in Gainesville come. He had four vials of about 100 wasps in each vial and released those at four locations um, from Appalachia over to Carabelle, actually, where we know we had populations of psyllids. So hopefully those little guys will be out there attacking those psyllids and reproducing and just keeping a population going to knock the numbers of that pest species back. So. That's all I had, unless you had any questions for me about anything in my written report. <coughs> any board members have any questions for Mr. Eric? Yeah, uh, Eric, Mr. Eric, uh, how long do walks last? Well, if the population of psyllids is there for them to prey on, they keep staying in the area and reproducing because that's the host that they need in order to survive. If the psyllid numbers are dying back and gone, the wasp species is going to decline as well. Okay. So it's uh, kind of a cycle. If they're there, they'll get them, and if not, they'll die out eventually. And we did release some at your house, Commissioner Lockley. <laughs> Good. <laughs> because when we got to your house, we found that small tree in your front yard had a lot of new flush and growth on it, and there were a lot of psyllids on that tree. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Anything further from the board members? Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Next on the agenda will be Mr. Mike Cooper, William CEO report. Good morning, Commissioners. Morning. Morning. Um, got it. It's been a busy uh, month. I've got several things to talk to you about today. Um, all good, but several. Um, the financials for the uh, month end of May. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice we had a, a good, strong um, revenue month again, over a million dollars. Also, um, we uh, realized another $110,000 of the LIP money that um, came in in March. Um, we showed a profit of uh, $36,000, leaving us a year to date. Um, at $226,000 to the positive. Um, our, uh, on the next page, you'll notice that our, our current ratio remains strong, as does our day's cash on hand. Um, and, and that can be, I mean, if you, look, if you look at our current assets and our current uh, liabilities, um, our, our current assets last month to this month went um, down just a little bit, but our current uh, liabilities went down quite a bit further. So that makes our current ratio a lot stronger. So um, right now it is pretty good. Um, some other good news in, in June, we did receive our last installment of our meaningful use money from Medicaid. Um, that was the third payment uh, and the final payment uh, from them. 
And so that's not reflected in, in these financials. Also on Friday, which was the 1st of July, so obviously it's not reflected in these and it won't be reflected in next month's either, but in July's financial statements, we did receive um, our last installment for DISH, the disproportionate share monies, we received that uh, in the amount of $256,000. So um, we, uh, right now things are, are very good. Um, we will be making um, another large payment to the county and to TMH. And we will also augment our reserve account, which now stands, right as I'm standing here today, it stands at $550,000. And I hope to get that up to about $650,000 um, by the week's end. So, <clears throat> so um, any questions on financials? Okay. Um, just an update from uh, uh, an item that we discussed last month, the cameras for the ambulances did arrive and they should be installed, I believe, this week. So um, going forward, I should have the ability to uh, monitor what the ambulances are doing um, at, at any point in time. Also, finally got some good news from the state regarding our clinics and our rural health designation, we should be getting a survey this month. Um, uh, they, they did indicate that they would be here this month to do that survey. That will um, change our Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement rate um, quite considerably. Right now we get usually around somewhere between the high 30s and mid 40s in reimbursement per visit from Medicare and Medicaid. In my history with rural health clinics, I've seen those rates anywhere from 90 to $130 per visit. So it's quite a jump in um, reimbursement, which is why we've been trying to get this done for the last couple years, actually. So I'm hopeful that before the <clears throat> beginning of the fiscal year, next fiscal year, um, those things will be converted. Um, as today, we're still operating with the uh, temporary generator. Um, I know uh, Michael and uh, Aaron are working trying to get uh, the quote from the state. Um, the second quote that we had expected from Mike Cates, the local gentleman, he indicates that he cannot provide the type of equipment that we need. Um, and so he is backed out of, of getting that um, quote. Um, but right now the, the new, uh, the temporary one is working. It does concern me a little bit um, because it is actually it's actually parked over towards where the emergency room is and we have huge cables running through the yard up to the uh, building. When we had all the rain, all those cables were submerged in water. So I, I just, it just scares me a little bit. Um, we have uh, fenced it off so that we try to keep people out of there, but it's still, in my opinion, um, not optimal. But. Um, and then finally, I believe you have two, um, two requisitions that uh, we sent. I think I got them to uh, Michael on Thursday. Um, one is for IV pumps. Um, and the IV pumps um, were secondhand from TMH, and we got them 10 years ago, 8 to 10 years ago, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, they, um, the kits that you use for those IV pumps are going to be discontinued at the end of the year. So they will become obsolete at that point. We won't be able to use them without the tubings. Um, the uh, requisition you have in front of you is actually pretty good because the tubing sets, where right now we have to have multiple types of tubing sets, the tubing sets for the new um, pumps 
there's only one tubing set and it's quite a bit cheaper than the tubing sets that we've been purchasing so actually um, I believe let me see uh, I don't know it's here somewhere but I think yeah it's we'll save about four hundred dollars a month on just the cost of the tubing set so um, I would ask for your uh, approval to purchase those. The other is for defibrillators. We uh, currently have two defibrillators that are working. Um, however, again, we've been notified by the manufacturer that they will continue to work on them, but they won't be producing any new parts for them So, at the end of the year. So if one goes down, we'll have to find another unit that we can scavenge off of to replace parts, which is obviously not optimal. Um, those, again, I think they're at least 15 years old. So I would ask um, for uh, your approval to purchase two new ones of those as well. You got the money to do it? Yes, sir. Okay, I make a motion. Second. We have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Massey, second by Commissioner Lockley. Any further discussion? I have one, one question. Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to take this out of the man for use money, the 61000 yep. that you're getting out of there? Okay. You got a question? Yes, sir, I do have a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just looking at this, and I know that we're subject to time and everything has to go into process. Uh, down at the bottom of the page under the, the quote from Zoll, it's saying that the quote was only valid until the end of the month. And number four, it's saying that the Purchase orders are subject to credit approval, but if we have the money to pay for it, do we? I mean, what what's that about? Um, that's just their general okay. stuff. Okay. I mean, and they'll extend this. Yeah. They'll extend. It won't be a problem to get okay. the the quote extended. But um, we have an ongoing relationship with Zoll, so okay. it's just a question because when I seen it last night, I was thinking that you know especially if we're using meaningful use money. In other words, we have the money to pay for it, so should we, we shouldn't need a, some kind of no, we'll credit pay, approval. Or, no, it won't be credit. We will pay it in okay. cash. Thank you. Any other discussion? Yeah. Um, this is not concerning that, but go back to that generator one more time. Mm -hmm. I, I know we believe in doing things local. But if the local can't provide, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, so that's a, you um, know. Let me let you guys clear that one motion up and then I'll address the generators commissioner. Okay. okay. We do have a motion and second on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That motion carries. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. So, so Mike, I don't know if you got this, but Craig and, and Aaron's been working on it. The cheapest quote we got, which is a, a step down, it was a D125 diesel generator. We got this from um, uh, Ring Power through state funding. It's 70000 for the generator itself, but there's a bunch of add-ins that they add, which adds about almost $30,000 more to it. We got two other quotes besides this one, which was... Is that the $69,000 Exactly. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if we need... I think those are just options at the bottom. I don't know that we have to have all those Yeah, um, and I was things. going to discuss that with you later yeah. this week, you and Craig, to see yeah. where we're at with, with these quotes. Well, I think the only thing we're waiting on is a comparative quote from the folks at the state. Um, as I understand it, the, the board requested an additional... I, I, I think these are state. This, this, is, this is ring power through the state. Uh, Bid list? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I think this is the best we're going to get. In difference to the other one that you, you the four, the first one that you got, which was sixty-five. No, sixty-six. It was sixty-three. Sixty-three. Um, but that was over the phone. I think the actual quote is that one. That's, okay. Um, Mike, Mike, one one suggestion, real quick on that. The, the sheriff has some kind of bid list that has better price than the state bid list. Okay. Uh, the Florida Sheriff's Association. Yes. Uh, we talked, I talked to them down at the conference we were just at. Okay. And they said a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of people buy stuff through them rather than the state bid list. I mean, it's basically the same thing, but, but it's different. Somehow they get a better price. And so that may be something we want to look at. I will. But we do need to move forward on that, Mike, uh, because we're paying that fee, you know, for that 
generated we're using no, no. now, so we oh, need to move forward on that. Uh, as approved by already it's approved by the board. A week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will work on that today. Any, any other question or comment? I, I, I got a couple oh I'm sorry. I got a couple items okay. uh, as approved. Uh, one one is uh, board action to approve a professional engineering service fee proposal with Barnett, Franzak, Barlow and Schuler for the exterior repairs, renovation of George E. Weems Memorial Hospital. If the board recalls, someone ran their vehicle into the hospital on about May of 2016. Approval of this proposal will start the process of repairing those damages. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, number five action. I'm sorry, number Commissioner, five number five of my report. I apologize. Okay. Yes. We do have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Locker. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Jones. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Uh, All opposed? That motion carried. At item number six of my report, inform the board that Mr. Jim Coleman of CHC is scheduled to meet with Mark O'Brien of TMH to discuss the results of the Weems operational assessment on Monday, July 10th. Mr. Coleman would like to meet with each commissioner individually between that Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning to discuss these results. I will contact each commissioner between today and tomorrow to set up appointments. All right, and that's in case they had you were here in case they had any additional questions. Mike. Any other questions for Mr. Cooper? I got one thing here, Mike. If you if you'd give that to Mr. Cooper, I'd like to have you research that and email the commissioners as to what is factual of uh, happening with that. Is that what I had it? That's what you ended up. This morning, I think I gave I've got it. Okay, would you check that out and email the commission to let us know I'll, what happened? I will. Um, I'm actually familiar with that incident and okay. know what was going on, so I will do that and um, take care of that this afternoon, hopefully. Okay, appreciate that. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cooper, have you got the clinic financials up here? Um, you should have them. I'm trying to see them. I know we sent them over. Some of this stuff's turned sideways, and I can't. I, I know. It's hard, it's hard to make up. Some of the documents are turned sideways. When you turn your iPad, it just turns again. So you, you have to get around like this and look at it. I know. That's okay. That's the one. Okay, that's the end of May, May 31st. Okay. All right. Any other comments from the board? For Mr. Cooper? Mike, you got anything else? No, nope, that's it. I was trying to see if I saw it in my report, but I didn't. Thank you for coming in, Mike. All right. Next will be a public hearing. And that's been canceled. Uh, is this on the the uh, the comp plan? Yes. Yes, sir. My recommendation is that the board, by motion, postpone this public hearing uh, until your next board meeting at 10:45 a.m. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bits of information that, that have not yet been prepared both on our side, preparing data and analysis that frankly we thought the applicant was providing, but they are not, so the county has to prepare it. And we also do not have the legal description to the subject parcel over in Caravel that, that we want to attach to the text amendment before it's sent up. So, so moved, Mr. Chairman. And that, the Step date on one. that, we, <laughs> no, I got old so we should have been, so it'd be July 19th, correct? July 18th. 18th? Yeah, today's Wednesday. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. Delayed. Sorry. We do have a motion for the next two items to be tabled by Commissioner Sanders. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Jones. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The motion carries. And just to confirm, that will be July 18th at 10:45 a.m. in this building, the public hearing on the comp plan amendment. That's all for me, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Next would be on the agenda would be Miss Marcia Johnson, Clerk of Court. A uh, reminder of when our scheduled budget here. Do you? Somebody was asking me about. It, I forgot what the dates were. Twenty first. Twenty first. Friday. Twenty and twenty first. Yes. Okay. It'll be the Thursday and Friday after your next meeting, which is on the eighteenth. Okay. Okay. Just as a reminder. Thank you. Next on the agenda would be Mr. Michael Rohn standing in for Alan Pierce, County uh, Restore Coordinator report. Actually, Alan did not have a report, but we did talk uh, yesterday or Monday that the two additions to the Triumph Board. I don't know, would you, would you guys want to say it or who want me to say it? Has it been made? Have they been made? Yes, sir. Mr. Don Gates is one of them. Don Gates? Don yes. Gates, who was on the thing. And another one is a Mr. Jason, I, I'm going to pronounce it, Shove. 
He's a vice president of uh, St. Joe Natural Gas Company in What's Gulf County. What's his last name? It's spelled S H O A F. Show. 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 Oh, one of your friends, Clay. I'm just uh, kidding. <laughs> just kidding, Clay. Um, yeah, he actually called me. Um, left a voicemail for me on a Monday afternoon, wanting to make contact with us. So I'm going to get that to Alan this morning. Have Alan give him a call. Yeah. But yeah, those are your two representatives. I'm trying. Mm, okay. I ain't gonna uh, yeah, I know, sir. I <laughs> no, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> I tremble to say that. So. All just, right. Just on something on the restore, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh, we had a consortium, Gulf consortium meeting uh, down in West Palm Beach last week, and and not too much came out of it. But one thing that did come out of it is the ESA consultants who are consultants for the Gulf Consortium and has came and rail and visited the different 23 counties um, are in the process of doing regional meetings and there's basically seven regions and they're trying to condense it up in four four meetings and this is still in discussion it has not came to pass yet um, the representative for Bay County guy Commissioner Guy Tanell said that why didn't we go ahead and let every county commission present what this is for is a state expenditure plan for everybody to see what the state expenditure plan is going to be before it's submitted to the state. And so his suggestion was to go and take it to the county commissions and let the county commissions um, uh, do a sort of like a workshop on it. Um, that was not received well by some some folks, um, but anyway, that that's still in the works. So we'll find out in September how we're going to do that because see, everything has to be up to the state by the end of December, first quarter of January. So all that's going to have to be done. And I I want to make sure that the folks that wants to see what this, uh, all the state plan is has the opportunity to do that and this is the only way you're going to be able to do it. They were talking about webinars and all that. But the, also, the first allocation, they said it, it looks like the first allocation of the, the Part 3 money, which is the consortium money, will be looked at after April 4th, 2018. Uh, and it would be somewhere in the vicinity between 73 and 74 million dollars that would be given to the consortium. And we ask, is it going to go to each individual county or is it going to be project driven? And it is going to probably more than likely be project driven. So I just wanted to update the commission on what's going on on that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, the different little hearings that they were talking about having is actually for public comment period. Yes, sir. And that's the reason Mr. Trinnell wanted each county commission to do it where everybody in each community would have we'll a have chance it. to comment. Yeah. And yeah. the way they want to do it is have four meetings in seven Regions. Uh, yeah, so. <coughs> when you have four meetings in, in seven regions and it, it kind of limits the amount of comment that the actual public in each community is going to be able to make because you're going to have to travel in order to attend a meeting. And if it's 200 miles away, you got to go over there just to give your opinion about what's mm -hmm. going on. So. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and like in our region, it's Gulf, well, it's Bay, Gulf, Wal uh, Franklin, and Walcola. So, and, and it's like, some people say, well, you know, so-and-so in Walcola don't care about what's going on in Bay County, but still, I think, you know, I'm I'm prone to like the idea of the county commission uh, allowing time on their agenda or whatever to, to have that or set up a workshop or whatever, because I want to make sure that before this plan goes to the state for approval, which this is a plan that goes to the governor, you know, and it's submitted, that that it will it will meet the test you know what i'm saying and uh and all that and also another thing that came up during what basically while we were meeting down there was you know that there had been some discussion about um the consortium was trying to look at bonding projects and stuff like that you know we've had prior discussions about that and Last week, a bill was filed in the House to allow the Gulf Council, that is the main part of all this restore stuff, to possibly have the bonding, you know, it's going to go before the House. And now it, ha it does have a companion bill in the Senate 
So it will be taken up in, in the Congress. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens on that. But that's going to be interesting too because I don't know if it'll trickle down to all, all the way down to the states and their, you know, consortiums and stuff. So we'll just have to wait and see. But we'll, we just wanted to update y'all.